All right, this is Nazario. Welcome to my channel. I am going to replace the mechanical disc brake caliper with hydraulic caliper. It's my first time doing it, so you're gonna be learning with me. Got my brother here to back me up. All right, let's see what we're gonna do first. What we're gonna do first, we're gonna snap this bad boy off. Catch that for me. Next, let's take this one off. Loosen this cable. Feel free to give any pointers if you see any. And then we're gonna pull that out. And next we're gonna take these two bolts out. All right, this is gonna take a little time. So yeah, we're just gonna do this to both of these uh, screws, take them out, and then uh, I'll cut, continue recording. All right, almost done taking these out. Also wanted to point out that uh, SnapCycle R1 will actually be coming with hydraulic brakes from now on you order them. So you don't have to do this. So anyone that has the older models can upgrade their mechanical brakes to uh, hydraulic. You know what's great about what we're replacing. Um, the mechanical brakes with are these x -Techs. Uh, There are a lot of different brands out there for hydraulic calipers. Uh, x -Techs are about 50 to 60 dollars for a pair. Um, other brands such as the Juntech M1s are about 150, 160 bucks. So they do exactly the same thing. And uh, you know, just if you have the money for Juntechs, go ahead and by all means get Juntechs. But these uh, x -Techs will do just the, just the same. Supposed to slide all the way out, or we gotta unscrew it. And just take it all the way out. Do they slide out? No, it, it, it's still threaded. The key. Do you remember how it was, or how it was, how it, how it was in there? Yeah. Remember? Okay. Don't forget how it was in there. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this off for you. The Allen wrench. All right, so this is the old bracket that was holding it on. We're gonna use the same old one, and then we're just gonna put the hydraulic brake onto this. It was like this, or no, it wasn't. It was like that, and we're just gonna pop the hydro on there. And be sure not to lose any of the washers or spacers that are on the old bolts. All right, so we're gonna have it like this. It's even labeled on it. It says this is up, so you know what, this is gonna be the top. And then it's gonna go on there after you put the washers on for the washers they're they're already existing on the bolts you had previously okay so these bolts 
Correct. Using the same bolts. Okay, so yes, it's same bolts. Then. And then once we're ready to put it on, we gotta take this little spacer out, and then it'll go right over the disc. <clears throat> and it's gonna be just like that. And then in the, in the country I grew up in, they called this easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So that's what we're gonna, we're gonna use that model. I'm gonna try and twist it on with just hands and then use the Allen wrench later. It's a sticky boy. Yeah, fingers aren't really getting it done. Gotta bring the tool out. And you just do this the whole way. Don't, don't tighten it all the way yet because we're going to want it a little bit on the loose side so we can uh, make sure it's not rubbing. See? Oh, wait, never mind. Can't test it there because I got the wheel strapped up on top. And then once it's almost all the way through, we're going to unstrap the wheel so that we can spin it freely so it's not rubbing against the brake pads right now this it's hitting a little bit you can hear it so we're just gonna move it left or right or from your view in and out until it's not rubbing anymore So I got the top done. It's gonna be a lot of fooling around until we get that little sweet spot and then that's when we tighten it up, okay? We're gonna keep testing it out so you don't get bored. All right, just got the sweet spot. So when you're tightening it, make sure you're not, when you twist the wrench, that you're not sliding it left or right or in or out. So make sure you tighten it without moving it at all. So there's not any rubbing at all. How tight are we doing this? Really, really tight? Okay. That was a yes head nod since you guys didn't see it. All right, now we'll spin this. No rubbing at all, sounds good. Next, we're gonna be putting this in the hole. So we gotta make sure we thread it through and sometimes when you clip it, I don't know if you can see, it kind of breaks up, but this one's really, really tight still, so I don't have to do any winding. If it if it starts unloosening, unwinding, then you have to re-thread it, and, or just re-twist re it, so you can thread it through, okay? Be very careful, try not to hit the walls. There you go, put it all the way through. 
and you want this to go all the way as far in as you can so if you have slack pull it down otherwise you can always twist this to meet this end so it gets seated nicely in there next you're gonna want to un unscrew this because you're gonna wanna rest that into this inner crack right here. It bends, you want it on the inner side, inner corner of that, uh, that little bend. Talk? Yeah, just squeeze it a little bit. Just a little bit, just a little bit, and then just tighten. A little, little just squeeze? A, just a little squeeze. All right. And then we just tighten it all the way. And you want to be careful with the thread, the end thread of this, because it will poke you. And it's a wire, so it, you'll feel it for a couple days. And then we got to give this a good spin. No rubbing. And then hit the brake. Spin. Hit the brake, stopping pretty good. All right, and now I'm gonna put this little tiny cap. I remember when I had my mechanical brakes on that I had it really, really tightened all the way at the top. So now I adjusted it so that it's at its default. So it's really, really loose. So now we're gonna go back down to the bottom and readjust it. So it's in a, a bit tighter, because right now it's really loose. And then I can always adjust it at the top on the lever. And then you can keep playing with it until you find out where you like it by just squeezing, squeezing the brake. There we go. It's kind of hard to hold that in tight at the same time, but you may have to do it a couple times until you find uh, the right tension. Because on the brake lever, when you squeeze the brake lever, you, you want to start feeling that brake right away. You don't want to, you know, squeeze the, the brake lever all the way to the handle. Got that rub. You give it a spin, you hear a very, very slight rub, but uh, I think I'm gonna let this one rub out. I'm gonna rub this one out. It's uh, It'll work on its own. So it's got that tightness kind of where I want it. If I need to adjust it later, I will just spin it up top by the lever, give it a little more tightness. Right now we're gonna work on this little tiny cap. We just put this little thing on, cap it off, and then crimp it closed. And then uh, that's how you uh, change the to the Z-Tech hydraulic caliper. All right, well, there you go, folks, X-Tech. Uh, not that difficult at all. You got the two main bolts and you got the wire bolts with the little tube to take the wire out. Real simple, uh, could take you probably about 10 minutes uh, 15 minutes per tire. The rear wheel is probably a little longer because uh, there's a lot more stuff around it. But uh, this is on the Snap Cycle R1. And uh, again, uh, I think we mentioned before the Snap Cycle will be adding the hydraulic 
brakes, not these, but a full hydraulic kit system starting from the levers and running the tubes all the way to the brakes. This right here is just a fix, a quick fix for those of you who have the old uh, snap cycle that, that do want a hydraulic feature for more stopping power. These bikes, keep in mind these bikes are heavy and they go fast. So if you need the stopping power, hydraulics are, is definitely where it's at. And links will be in his description. And you can check those out. Thanks for watching. This is Nazario. Extra commentary and help was from my brother Nelson. You can catch him at the E-Rider channel. And don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'll give you a little time to do that. All right, waiting. Click that little like button. There you go. All right, thanks. Have a good day.